This is the instructional video for part number nine, cow catcher. I'm going to start a new drawing using a standard IPT. I'm going to begin this sketch on the XZ plane. And once it comes in here, what I'm going to simply do is just rotate the view, the left, up here near my view queue. And this will just help with the layout later on. I'm going to go ahead and use my line tool and I am going to draw a line from my start point here at the origin to the right and this line is going to be 1.2 inches. And I'm going to zoom in so that it fills up the rest of my screen and I'm going to draw two parallel lines both perpendicular to that line that go straight down at 0.25 inches. So I have one on the left side, and I'm simply just going to right-click OK and move the dimension over. And I'm going to do the same on the right side. And you have to make sure that you grab the end point of this line because it is kind of hidden on this x-axis. So make sure you grab it. You'll see the green dot appear, and I'm going to draw it again perpendicular. And this is going to go down 0.25 as well. Now for this next point, I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to make a peak on the top of this. And I'm going to draw it, and I'm just going to create this peak. It is not correct by any means, but I'm going to correct it by putting in a dimension. To do that, I'm going to grab this point, this vertex where these two lines have just intersected, and then I'm going to grab my 1.2 inch line on the x-axis, and I need that height to be 0.75. Now, I need to fix the orientation of these two lines so that they are even to each other. So I'm going to click this point again at the vertex, but this time I'm going to select this left 0.25 inch line. And I need this distance to be half of this 1.2 inch line. So I'm going to change this to 0.6 inches. And you should see it center justify now. I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a new picture on a different sketch that is the exact same thing except of a different length in the X and the Y axes. To do that, I need to have a work plane. So I'm going to select work plane, and I am first going to select the corners of this drawing that I've already done. I'm going to click this corner. You should see a little yellow X appear. And I'm going to click this bottom corner. Again, a yellow X appear. And then finally over to here, you should see that yellow X appear again. So I have a work plane on this face. So I'm going to select a work plane. And I'm going to click and hold on the work plane that I've already created, work plane 1. And I'm going to pull down. You're going to notice that it's a negative number here. And I'm going to change that to a negative 0.75. So now it's giving me the distance to start my next sketch. So I'm going to start the sketch on that face. And I'm going to make it in the same orientation that I was working in previously. And you'll notice that it looks like I'm still working on this face. The only thing that I want to pull from this face is this line right here. So I'm going to go to Project Geometry. I'm going to grab this baseline. And then I'm going to right-click OK. And I'm going to turn off Sketch 1. So over here on the browser bar, I'm going to right-click on Sketch 1 and I'm going to click the word visibility. This is going to turn off that sketch for now. It hasn't gone anywhere, it just turned it off. And if I kind of rotate my view here, you can see my projected geometry. This is the drawing that I'm actually working on, is this one right here. If I click back to the top view, I want to start this. This is very crucial that you start this at the center point of that line that we just projected. And you'll see here that I get a green dot to appear. I'm going to start at that center point and I'm going to draw a line to the left. This line is going to go 0.9 to the left. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to select line tool again, but this time I'm going to go to the right. So I grab again at the center point, and I go to the right, 0.9. Now that I have those two lines drawn, I'm actually going to lock them. So I'm going to use the fix constraint, and I'll grab each line, making sure that I don't grab this yellow line back there. So I'm going to grab off to the right here of my work plane. And then I'm going to grab again, the left side, make sure you're grabbing off the left of the work plane here so you grab that 0.9 inch line. 
Now those won't move when, if I need to come and dimension them. So I'm going to select the line tool again. I'm going to grab the end of this 0.9 inch line, and I'm going to go down the same distance I did before, 0.25. I'm going to right-click OK. I'm just going to clean up these dimensions by moving them up a little bit. And over. I'll take my line tool again. This time, make sure you're grabbing the end of your 0.9 inch line, and I'm going to go down 0.25 inches. I'm going to use my line tool here. So if I click the end of this 0.25 inch line and I bring this over, I am now snapping again to my point, making sure that I select the vertex. And I'm going to dimension it. I'm going to go from this vertex to the bottom of this 0.9 inch line. This distance needs to be one inch. And I'm going to select the vertex again to this 0.25 inch line. And this distance needs to be 0.9. That way, it is going to even itself out. If you can't get those dimensions, it may be that you, you applied a geometric constraint when you were drawing it. So just redraw it. Just step back and redraw that line. And I'm going to finish sketch. And I'm going to come over here to my sketch one, and I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to turn the visibility back on. I am going to come over here to the work plane, and I'm going to turn the visibility off on those. So if I select this white triangle next to work plane two in my browser bar, it's going to show me both work planes. I'm going to right click on work plane 2, click visibility, then I'm going to right click on work plane 1 and select visibility, and I have both of my sketches here without the work planes. I'm going to loft this image to this image. To do that, I'm going to select loft, and the first thing it's going to ask me is it says you need to se select a section to do. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this sketch on the top. I'm going to go to click to add, and I'm going to grab this bottom section. And you should see a preview of what is going to appear as your law. Click OK, and you should have this face. And the tell sign that you did this right is that if I hover over this, I should get a red profile to appear. If you can't get that, you're going to want to step back and redraw it, because somewhere along the lines, probably with this center point reaching out to here, they're not even. So it's not creating a flat face and it won't produce a sketch on there. I'm going to start a sketch on this face and I'm going to project the geometry of this face and I'm going to use an offset. So I'm going to select offset and I'm going to grab that yellow line that I just projected and I'm going to bring it in. This distance that I'm bringing it in is going to be 0.1 inches. I'm going to right-click OK, and then I'm going to finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude it in, making sure that it goes the opposite way, so a cut extrusion, and this distance is going to be 0 0.05. I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to do the same on the left face. So I'm going to start a sketch on this left face. I'm going to click Project Geometry, select the face, offset, grab the yellow outline, bring it in to 0.1. Finish sketch, extrude, select that interface and do a cut extrusion. It default to the previous dimension that I placed, which is 0 0.05, and select OK. Then I'm going to turn it around. So I'm going to select up here in my view cube just to turn my view around. And I'm going to select start 2D sketch by grabbing this face. And I'm going to place three points in there, making sure when I place these points, that they're not connecting to any points or lines because I don't want any geometric constraints or else it's going to screw up my dimensioning. So I am going to click Project Geometry and I'm going to grab this face. This will allow me now to dimension to these two corners. If I click Dimension, I need to grab the lower left point to the bottom of my cow catcher. And this dimension is going to be 0.125. I need to do the same to the bottom right point that I've created. Again, 0.125. Now I'm going to dimension this lower left one to this bottom corner. So I'm going to select the corner and then my point. And this distance is going to be 0.275. I'm going to do the same on the right side. Select the point and then this bottom corner. And this distance, again, is 
this middle point that I'm going to be doing is going to be based off of, in the x-axis, of this lower left point. So I'm going to select this lower left point to my middle point, and that distance is going to be 0.625. Now I need to dimension that point to my bottom line, which is going to be, again, 0.625. I'm going to take my circle tool and I'm going to go at the center of those points and I'm going to create a 0.125 inch circle on all three points, making sure that I select the center point. So all those are 0.125 inch circles. I'm going to right click OK. I can now finish sketch. Using my extrude button, I'm going to select each of those holes, and they need to have an overall extrusion of 0.125. Select OK. For the pegs, the last thing is going to be a 0.01 inch chamfer on the ends of them. So I'm going to select chamfer. I'm going to change this distance to 0.01, and then I'm simply going to grab the ends of my pegs and then select OK. That is an eased edge. It'll help when I need to insert it into the front of the train body. Lastly, I'm going to select over here in my view cube. I'm going to grab the bottom of this. So now it shows me the lower portion of my cow catcher. I'm going to select a shell. I need to shell out this bottom face and the distance for me defaulted to 0.1. You need 0.1. You can either see it here or I can drop down this arrow and I can see this 0.1 thickness here, select OK. And if I go to my home view, I now have part number nine, cow catcher.